Hello everyone, I'm Xian Zhang from Microsoft Research Asia. Today, I'll introduce you our latest work called Augurs. It's a blockchain-based application to create fully transparent incentive for anti-piracy campaigns. We all know that illegal redistribution is a pervasive social problem. A typical illegal redistribution works as follows. First, there is an owner who is also the copyright holder who sells the data such as the images, audios, and software to the licensees. And among the licensees, there might be an infringer who just uh, send the pirated copies illegally through the cover channels to the potential piracy users. Since the pirated copies would severely impair the profit of the owner, there is also anti-piracy law, such as the Title 17 of the United States Code. When the identity of the infringer and the number of pirated copies are determined, the copyright infringer will be fined or even detained. However, due to the cover propagation, it is hard for the owner to discover, trace, and quantify pirated copies before the law enforcement. To help the owner, anti-piracy campaign with piracy bounty is introduced. With bounties, piracy users may become the informers. For example, there are three informers sending three reports to the owner indicating that the red licensee is the infringer. And with this fact, the owner can further refer to the law enforcement with sending bounties to the informers. In fact, piracy bounty is widely experimented and leveraged in the industry. For example, the Business Software Alliance launched a, a program which reward $1, billion, $1 million to the informers. However, anti-piracy campaign also faces a challenge that is there are multiple parties with different interests. For example, informers may distrust the opaque metric of paying piracy bounty, and the owner may question the accuracy of informers' reports due to potential attacks. For example, the informers may just fake their identities to submit multiple reports to the owner and the informers may also just replay others' reports to the owner, which makes the reports inaccurate. In addition, the infringers may deny the accusation of redistributing pirate copies, since the owner also has the data. And there are also some other conflict of interest. To solve the challenge, we propose the Augur system, which outperforms previous solutions in transparency, accuracy, and efficiency. For transparency, we use a smart contract, which can convince informers of the piracy bounty. And for accuracy, we use a special incentive model, which can incentivize the informers not to resubmit reports. And also, we use multiple period commitment scheme, which can guarantee that no reports are replayed. We also use a symmetric watermarking that can mitigate the dispute of piracy leakage. For efficiency, we optimize the performance and the cost of several protocols in the Augur system. And we use techniques such as uh, the private information retrieval and the state channel. Now, let me give you some details 
about the three main technologies in the auger system. The first is called incentive mechanism, which can prevent the civil attack that the informers may fake identities to resubmit. A previous work had proposed civil proof bounty to disincentivize resubmission, and they propose a formula for the bounty function as this one, which decrease exponentially with the total number of informers, which is denoted as n. For example, if there are n submissions, then after the deadline, the, the bounty will be allocated to these n informers. And actually, we can prove that for every informer given this formula, submitting the report once is the optimal strategy. In other words, the civil attack is disincentivized. However, we discover that there are a lot of limitations of previous civil proof bounty using this formula. For example, the informers may be disincentivized by the long time to wait for the bounty. And the, the informers may also be unwilling to report the, the, the piracy tiny because the bounty is not order aware. And third, informers might be negligibly paid, even if the number of informers is moderate since the bounty function decreases exponentially with, with the total number of informers. And to optimize this incentive, we discover that uh, by using this formula, we can achieve following properties. For example, the first is that we the, for each informer, they can uh, they can just get the bounty instantly, the, the FI part, as shown in this figure. Uh, for every submission, the FI part is rewarded to this uh, informer instantly, and uh, for the GM part it will be allocated after the deadline. And the second property is about the order aware, which means that the F function is always decreasing so as to incentivize every informer to submit the piracy report as quick as possible. And the third property is about the non-negligible. And uh, for each informer, we can prove that even if the informer just submits the re piracy report with a large index, then <clears throat> the, the bounty that this informer get would be larger than zero. This is quite different from the previous ones. The second main technology in our system is called multi-period commitment scheme against the replay attack, in which the informers may replay others' report to get the reward. It's especially a serious problem in the blockchain world since the, the, the smart contract is, is totally transparent. In fact, the previous work have proposed commit and review to counteract the replay attack. And uh, for the informers, they are required to submit the commitments in the commitment phase and then in the review phase they are required to review 
the corresponding secrets, which here the, the H stands for the hash algorithm. And after the two phases, the, the bounty are allocated to these informers. And the commit and review can defense from the replay attack efficiently since the attackers cannot generate valid commitments in the commitment phase unless they know the reviewed secrets. And in addition, there are also another approach to, to counteract the replay attack, which is called zero-knowledge proof. Uh, the, the, the bound contract actually can verify informers acquaintance of review secrets without informers revealing secrets. However, there are also limitations for previous commitment scheme and zero knowledge proof. For previous commitment scheme, informers have to wait a long time to review secrets and get boundaries, which incentivize them to participate. In addition, the owner have to wait a long time to get the report. And for the zero knowledge proof, the current zero knowledge proof may introduce significant on-chain and off-chain overhead in performance and cost. So we propose multi-period commitment scheme which works as follows. First, the report period is divided into a lot of sub-periods. And in each sub-period, the informer can commit. And for the next sub-period, the informer should re review his or her commitment in the last sub-period. And for this period, the commitment phase uh, for the second round just starts. And for each round, they are required to insert the number of sub period into their commitments and reviews. So we can guarantee that the attackers, which may launch the replay attack, cannot generate correct commitments for current commitment phase with previously and currently reviewed answers. The third main technology of Augur system is called asymmetric watermarking. It can prevent from the free up attack from the owner to the licensee. In other words, the licensee cannot deny the accusation. The asymmetric watermarking are proposed by previous work. It works as follows. First, the owner just applies the watermark embedding to the data and to generate four different versions. And each version of data has a different watermark. Then the owner and the licensee should play the oblivious transfer protocol so that the licensee can get one version of data. For example, we suppose the licensee gets the data two. Then, according to the properties of oblivious transfer, the owner cannot know which data the licensee has chosen among the four data, while the licensee cannot know the M plus and M minus one unchosen data. Then in the future, one day, the licensee might be reported by, by an informer that the licensee leaks data four. And then the licensee should appeal to the August contract that actually he or she had chosen the, the data two. So by this process, we know that the data four should be leaked by the owner, but not the licensee. 
and then the licensee can just uh, deny the accusation while the owner should be responsible for leaking the data. And we reduce the complexity of appeal protocol from previous ON to O1 in this work, which can largely optimize the bandwidth consumption and also the, the cost of the asymmetric watermarking in our scheme. We also analyze the security of our Augur system. In Augur system, we have three assumptions. The first is a robust watermarking that, except the owner, no one can remove or compromise the digital watermarking without significant data distortion. And the second assumption is called reliable blockchain, which is the blockchain consensus and the smart contract should be secure. And uh, the third assumption is that informers should be financially rational, which means that informers only cares about to maximize their bounties. And with these three assumptions, we define the interests and the threats of participants in augurs, as shown in this table. And based on this table, we prove that if a participant has no fault, the interest of this participant will not be heard even when others collude. And uh, for evaluation, we use the following experimental setup. For machine configurations, we simulate nodes of public e sovereign and participants with machines on Microsoft Azure. And for benchmark, we use three types of data and adopt corresponding watermark schemes to demonstrate the generality of augurs. The three types of data are image, audio, and software, and their watermarking schemes are shown in this table. Here we highlight some evaluation results of our augur system. The first result is about the throughput. The throughput of our Argus system to process the licenses request by owner's machine is nearly scalable as 82 requests per second per machine. In other words, if the owner has multiple machines, this number would be scaled according to the number of machines. And we also evaluate the latency and the cost of informer's piracy report. As shown in this figure, you can see that to generate a report, the zero knowledge proof scheme would consume about 45 seconds, while in our scheme, there are only many seconds to generate the, the, the piracy report. And for the gas cost of the piracy report for the zero knowledge proof scheme, seems verifying the zero knowledge proof is a little complicated. Then the cost would be normalized to 22 servant trans transfer transactions. And uh, while in our scheme, there, there's, there's, the number is only about 14 transfer transactions. The Ethereum transfer transactions are the simplest transactions in Ethereum. Here is our conclusion. And a piracy campaign with piracy bounty is effective for bridging the gap between illegal redistribution and law enforcement. However, and a piracy campaigns also face many challenges due to the misaligned interests of multiple parties. And in this work, we propose Augur system to address those challenges with improved transparency, accuracy, and efficiency. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.